What's going on guys, comes you back again on another MMO Village 18 Time and Dynasty video And if you guys have not yet hit that sub button Let me go ahead and do you guys a favor Go ahead and hit that sub button A lot of MLB Village 18 content, tips, everything of that sort Coming very, very soon, you guys know all year round I am gonna be bringing the MLB the show 18 fire But I should be trying to stream hopefully tomorrow And then have a pack opening for this 91 show Hey Otani, who, uh, he's still in packs, and he's going for about 300k, and let me just say, if we pull him, chief, <laughs> if we pull him, hell, if there's one person that's gonna pull that 91 show, hey, you best believe it is the pack guy himself, but keep a lookout for those videos, should be very, very exciting, but of course, getting into this topic right now, it is going to be talking about how to get tickets the fastest the, well, not the cheapest because you don't have to spend anything to get the tickets. That's a good point. Technically, it is free. There's no possible way it could be paid to win, so I don't want to hear any of that. But the best and fastest way to go ahead and make tickets in MLB 18. And why I'm making this video, you guys might wonder, you know, why are you talking about tickets? Then, let me just put it like this. On October 19th, something tells me that we're getting a certain cord in the ticket counter. Now, this certain cord... It was a player who used it 400. You know, great hitter, one of the greatest, maybe, arguably one of the best hitters, the best hitter of all time. He played for a team in the AL East. Now, I'm not gonna say who it is, but I think we both know who I'm talking about. I'm not gonna name him directly, but we both know. Yee. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. Make sure to take a look out on October 19th and get those tickets up. You guys can see right now, my tickets are a little bit low. And I'm assuming your tickets are probably low if you're watching this video. So let's both uh, let's both get on the grind, get those tickets up, because come to October 19th, trust me, you're going to be thanking me. So getting into the best way to get tickets, now that you guys kind of know what tickets are for, of course, tickets are used to buy cords, and of course... Also, you are going to need to get the XP level up, which I do have a separate video talking about how to get XP the fastest that will be up in the top right hand corner. But for the most part, getting tickets and XP go kind of hand in hand because the best way to get tickets is also pretty much the best way to get XP. But the absolute best way that you're gonna wanna start to get tickets for right now is definitely the September time program. Now in the past programs like July, they really didn't give out too many tickets, but if you look at September, and I know I've got some work to do, but trust me, uh, these really do not take that much time. These go really quick, and that's the good thing. Tickets, in a sense, now with the new stuff that they came out, don't necessarily take that long to get. They used to take a long-ass time to grind tickets because, you know, they put a minimal amount out. But if you look at the September program, you know, that's a 1,000, that's a 1,300. In the total, I think you're going to get about two grand tickets just from completing this which will not take you any more than you know a couple of hours you know five hours max but uh, you guys can see here just a couple easy stat missions which I'm assuming if you guys have been playing you guys probably have pretty good progress towards this already and if you don't trust me don't worry don't sweat it just play rookie versus the computer easily or going to get it and this will get you 2,000 tickets right off the bat that would jump me up to 6,000 which would be a pretty big jump because you are going to need a good amount of tickets for that certain certain AL East player that I was talking about. So you guys are definitely going to want to get a bunch of tickets and use a lot of these different things that I talk about. But absolutely, I would say the September time program is where you guys should be starting to get on the ticket grind right now because uh, you're going to want to, if you want to get that card that I was talking about, you're going to want to start this now. Don't procrastinate. Uh, don't don't wait on it don't sleep i know the october one will be coming out obviously when october drops and that should have at least the same amount of tickets maybe even more so make sure to do that when that eventually comes out too but also some of the best ways are these future star programs if you look there is a lot of tickets in these um just look right here you know that's 50 100 150 200 250 just for completing this this will not take too long at all the future stars lead into actually another email immortal so you guys are definitely going to want to do the future stars i have everybody plugged in i just have to find the time to do so like i said school got a lot of stuff going on um but i should have this grinded out pretty pretty soon maybe i'll do that on stream but probably not it's probably going to be a bit too boring for you guys but anyway make sure to do the future stars of course that's 250 500 750 1000 uh 1250 that's 1500 tickets from just completing this and the thing about that is it leads directly into this which gives 
gives you even more tickets. So now, as you guys can see, for completing that, that gives you 40% in this, which gives you another 750. So that's 2,250 plus the 2,000 from here. That's 4,250 tickets snap of the fingers that quick very very fast very very easy and simple tickets that you are going to get from this and of course there will be more along the way but these uh aren't necessarily going to be released very soon as you see the show finest will not be coming out until late october so of course that certain someone is already going to be released by then but of course uh he will stay in the ticket counter so you guys can still do these after this and then the postseason you know comes out after the postseason happens i'm good job if you guessed that right um but uh like i said this will be another great way to get some tickets you know even besides what you could earn now that's another 500 uh 750 that's another 1250 tickets just sitting in here so those definitely by far are the best way to get tickets and there are still some good ways in the programs for example if you have not finished the position programs i strongly encourage you to do so um uh, because just look right here for the matt latos program which is pretty easy and does not take too much time that's 10 that's 30 that's 80 that's 105 tickets that does not take you very long at all and even if you look at some of the batters like for the robe lace that's another 30 um that's another 70 tickets um even for like a gold like the trumbo um i click chumbo uh even for like chumbo like i said that's another 45 tickets and yes it might seem like a small number but trust me these grinds are not very long and they do add up very very quickly and of course just like as i talked about before those directly lead into um, the career arcs which you can earn even more tickets from as you guys can see this these will usually take a bit more time for example if you look at like the hand ram um you won't be unlocking the stuff for a little bit uh let me try to find one that i haven't completed uh, i've completed most of the career arcs at least the old ones so uh um okay it doesn't show percentages but as you guys can see it does take a little bit uh, uh, a little bit longer because at this point they really didn't roll out tickets as fast as they do right now but um this is still definitely a viable way to get tickets as you guys can see once you finish this eventually you're going to get about 100 tickets per career or program which once again is pretty much nothing compared to uh you know what they've been releasing now but that's just the way it is they were really slower with that but i think now that they realize that they want to have an immortal coming in the ticket counter they obviously realize that people aren't going Going to be able to get the amount of tickets that they're gonna need so they started boosting the ticket amounts by quite a bit and like i said um they will be adding the october one in about a week's time when october hits make sure to do that those uh besides the september program is going to be the most important and also like the future stars as well not to mention also ending october 1st so right when that new october program rolls around um you will be getting double xp and tickets for every single game that you play so once again that fits into uh if you're gonna grind i really suggest that you find the time to do so now because you don't earn a great amount of tickets per game but even if you got 15 or 20 before that's gonna be 30 to 40 now so when you're playing a lot of games to get those future stars done to get the september program done it's just going to be more free tickets that you could not have gotten then. So I strongly encourage you guys to get on the grind and do so if you want to play the Immortal event, which can lead into, of course, Stan the Man Musial and the Daniel Murphy, which is actually a pretty nice card. Got a lot of pop for a second baseman. Uh, also a good way to do so. You're still going to get double tickets and double XP, of course. Now, for that certain someone, finally, um, I would imagine... I would say diamond zero is going to be the requirement. So I am a little bit short. Um, like I said, top right hand corner to find the best ways to get XP because there is a couple ways that we didn't talk about in this video. And then I would guess somewhere along the lines of 16 to 20,000 tickets. So um, it definitely sucks for those of us that bought cards in the past. Like I bought the Schwarber, I bought the Wainwright, and I bought a couple other cards on the ticket counter. Otherwise, my tickets right now would be looking pretty nice. I'd probably be sitting around the 14k mark instead I'm sitting at about the 4k mark so definitely sucks for those of us that did buy cards in the past um it just means that we're gonna have to grind a little bit more but that is understandable
understandable as these guys saved the tickets. And in all reality, hindsight is 2020. They were the smart ones if you want to consider it because they knew we would be getting better ticket cards uh, eventually. And of course, we will be very, very soon on October 19th. But if you guys have any more questions, comments, concerns, anything of that matter, make sure to hit me down below in the comments. Gladly will accept and uh, offer you guys any advice that I can. But if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to like that below. Hope you guys have a great day. And then you guys comes out. Yeet. Love is love and hate is hate. To die is an awesome adventure and I can hardly wait. Earth is a prison, I need a great escape. You know I'm in my zone when I'm up and out of space. You know I'm in my zone when I'm up and out of space. You know I'm in my zone when I'm up and out of space. You know I'm in my zone. You know I'm in my zone. I took a bite of the glory, I take.